A normal distribution has a mean of 18 and a standard deviation of 5. Use the 68.95.99.7 rule to find the percentage of values between 18 and 33. Remember what these things mean. The 68.95.99.7% rule is meant to help you remember what percent of the area is within one, two, or three standard deviations of the mean for a normal data. 68 corresponds to one standard deviation. 95 corresponds to two standard deviations. And 99.7 corresponds to three standard deviations. Mike can even see them better up here. One, two, and three standard deviations. So the, it's, it's almost uh, a cookbook type thing here. You look at the mean, which is 18. And I highly recommend making a little sketch. It doesn't have to be super accurate, but it gives you some visual way of seeing what it is that you're trying to do. You've got your normal distribution sitting over a mean of 18 and you want to know about the values um, between 18 and 33. They're asking about the values between 18 and 33. So you've got to get out to 33. That's what they're interested in. And the trick is your standard deviation is your measuring stick. It's like a ruler. You're measuring with a standard deviation of 5 means your ruler has length 5. So it's like having a ruler that's 5 units long. And you're using that to measure the distance between 18 and 33. So you're counting by 5. Well, if you add 5 to 18, you get 23. If you add another 5 to 23, you get 28. And if you add another uh, 5 to 28 you get 33 so what that tells you is if you're counting by fives there are three of them so there are three fives between 18 and 33 now the 68 95 99.7% rule talks about the area between um, two values on both sides of the mean. So even if it doesn't ask that in the question, you're also going five units in the other direction however many times you have to measure out as well. Since it was three, you're going to do the same thing with three fives over here. So if you take five away from 18, you're down to 13. If you take five away from 13, you're down to eight. And if you take five away from eight you're down to three so you really have to look at it like that so as I'm reading and thinking about this problem I'm doing a little sketch the sketch doesn't have to be super accurate but it guides me on what I'm trying to do so according to the 68 95 99.7 percent rule 97% of the area is between is captured between 3 and 33. If you were to shade in all that, 99.7% 90, of it would be in between there. In fact, let me do that. It's going to be rough, but just to get a general picture. According to that rule, the area between 3 and 33 is 99.7. That's the yellow area. But keep in mind, the problem only asks for the area between 18 and 33. That's what the problem actually asks for. The rule applies to the area in both directions from the mean. But the problem only asks for 
the part between 18 and 33. So what I'm saying is if you're just looking at just the green area, if you're looking at just the green, only half of that ninety nine point seven is between eighteen and thirty three. So you take half of ninety nine point seven, do that on your calculator, and you end up with forty nine point eight five percent. And that was what they were asking for. Find the percentage of values between eighteen and thirty three. It's half of the 99.7. So this is sort of a recipe type process. You read the problem, you pull out, you extract the data that's important, you start sketching, putting that information. Doesn't have to be beautiful, doesn't have to be super accurate. And once you get kind of a general sketch, then you've got to take the standard deviation and use it as a ruler and count how far apart the mean is from the values they're asking about and just think it through step by step. A normal distribution has a mean of 15 and a standard deviation of 3. Use the 65, 95, 99.7 rule to find the percentage of values that lie below 9. Again, you've got to remember what all of this means. 68 is the percent of the area that lies within one standard deviation of the mean. 95 is the percentage of area that lies within two standard deviations of the mean. And 99.7 is the percent of the area that lies within three standard deviations of the mean. They tell us the mean is 15. So as I'm reading the problem, I'm doing my little rough sketch. It doesn't have to be beautiful. It doesn't have to be super accurate. But it is a great guide as to what to do. So the mean is 15. The standard deviation is 3. And remember, I think of the standard deviation as a ruler. It's a measuring device. You've got a ruler over here that's 3 units long. And you're measuring distances with that. So they want to know the percentage of values that lie below 9. So you probably want to put 9 on here and you want to measure the difference between 9 and 15 using your ruler. In other words, how many 3's are there between 9 and 15? Well if you take 9 and add 3 you're to 12. If you take 12 and add 3 you're to 15. So that tells you that there are two standard deviations. There are two of them. There are two standard deviations between 9 and 15. So that means you'll be using the 95 in the 68, 95, 99.7 rule number. You'll be using that. Now remember, this rule tells you uh, the percentage in both directions for the mean. So even though they're only asking about below 9, you have to finish this out by going to the other side of the mean and going by 3's twice. So if you add 3 to 15, you get 18. If you add 3 to 18, you get 21. So you have to, you always have to draw a symmetrical picture, taking it on both sides even when the problem doesn't ask about both. So what we know by the 68-95-99.7 rule is that 95% of the values lie between 9 and 21 because there are two standard deviations. So that's 95, excuse me, 95 percent of the area in yellow because it's within two standard deviations of the mean. However, they didn't ask about that. They asked for the area below. So they're actually asking for this area down here. Which means we've got to figure some things out. And what I know is if there's 95% of the area in the yellow, 
then there's 5% of the area that's not in the yellow. So if there's 5% not in yellow, half of it goes on the left, and the other half of it goes on the right. So you've got to split it up symmetrically. Well, half of 5% is 2.5%. So that means that 2.5% of the area lies down here and 2.5% of the area lies up there. Now the question was the percentage of values that lie below 9 and you can see from the graph now that the answer is 2.5%. So 2.5% of values lie below 9. Again, step by step, draw a sketch, doesn't have to be super accurate, but it should be a guide as to what you do next. Put the mean on there, use your standard deviation as a measuring stick, count how many measuring sticks are between uh, the mean and the value you're looking for, and take it from there. A normal distribution has a mean of 7 and a standard deviation of 2. Use the 68, 95, 99.7 rule to find the percentage of values between 7 and 9. Once again, the 68 means there are 68% of values within one standard deviation of the mean. The 95 means there are two, means that there are 95% of the values that lie between two in, within two standard deviations of the mean, and the 99.7 means there are 99.7% of the values lie within three standard deviations of the mean. And as we've done before, if you'll do a little sketch, it will guide your work very nicely. It doesn't have to be super accurate. It's simply a guide. They tell us that the mean is 7 and that the standard deviation is 2. Now again, I think of the standard deviation as a measuring stick or a ruler. That is our device that we measure with. There's a, the standard deviation is 2 units. They ask us about uh, between 7 and 9. So if we put 7 on there already, we need to add 9. And if you think about it, the difference between 7 and 9 is 2 units. So there's just one standard deviation between 7 and 9. That means this number 68 is going to be important. Also, when you say within one standard deviation of the mean, or 2 or 3, you're talking about in both directions. So even if the problem doesn't ask for it, you have to reflect the symmetry and, put, and go 2 units the other way as well, because that's what the rule tells us. It tells us that within one standard deviation of the mean, which is what this yellow represents, 68% of the values lie. So we know that 68% of the values lie in that yellow area. But the problem just said between 7 and 9. And 7 to 9 is only half of that area that was yellow. It's what I'm coloring green now. So had they asked me what percentage of the values lie between 5 and 9, the answer would have been 68%. But they only asked for the area between 7 and 9, and that's only half of the 68. So it's half of it, which of course is 34%. So 34% of values lie between 7 and 9. You really have to read the question, what they're asking. 
the procedure for drawing your little guide, your little graphical guide, is pretty much the same every time. But the numbers you pull from that depend entirely on what they ask. If they had said between 5 and 9, the answer would have been 68. If they said between 7 and 9, it would be 34. If they had said between 5 and 7, it would have been 34. They could have also asked about greater than 9 or less than 5. You have to actually listen to what they're asking once you've got your picture. The, the original picture is pretty much independent of the question other than getting your basic numbers out there. But after that, you really have to pay attention to what it is they're asking you to do.